It's your boy and Guru in the house back with another bang on video. Well, yes, we are shooting this video before this Arsenal versus Leicester watch along. So make sure you be a part of the watch along as well. And yes, uh, let's support Arsenal as Arsenal play Leicester City tonight with IG as well. And so be a part of the watch along 15 minutes prior to the kickoff time. It's already scheduled in my uh, on my channel. You can go and check it out. You've already got, received a notification if you did. Uh, click a reminder on that and when the live is on you'll be definitely reminded about that you get another notification so cheers let's move on with the first very awesome news i've got to you guys yes the real reason how exactly can we actually get how far are we close or how exactly we were close to getting our more everything will be discussed in this video so keep watching the video till the end and make sure you subscribe we are on a new mission of reaching 13,000 subscribers yes let's take it step by step let's take it 1000 by thousand let's do it guys so the first news is Momundo Deportivo said that Torreira would arrive at Atletico for Hector Herrera if they find a team for the Mexican. This was the news that was actually running down by last Saturday. But I'll tell you why we're going to talk. We're going to actually pull in a lot of fuel to this fire because yes, we've got more news for you. Because uh, uh, even uh, uh, talking about different stuff, well, yes, more movement. Torreira will arrive as soon as Hector leaves according to uh, another source and reports in Spain are saying that Logos Torreira will arrive in Spain in a matter of hours yes let's see if that is true or not but the Premier League has moved the kickoff for Liverpool versus Arsenal forward by 15 minutes yes to 8 p.m. BST 8 p.m. BST on Monday after fans said they would miss the end of the televised game because of the government's new 10 p.m. pub curfew so that is the big reason why uh, the, the kickoff time was shifted to another 15 minutes well Let's move on with more news because Lucas Torreira does not fit into Mikel Arteta's way of playing and does fit in Simeone's. Hence, it's, it is normal that the Uruguayan wants to go on a loan to Atletico Madrid. Now, surely Arsenal take the opportunity to make another attempt with Thomas. Crazy to go to the Arsenal. And talking about different stuff, this is Uruguay's national team assistant coach. Let's see what he said. He said, Lucas Torreira continues to train with Arsenal, but from what I spoke with him, his arrival at the Atletico Madrid is imminent yes it's imminent yes he this is what he said so Torreira has already made up his mind he is an Atletico Madrid player in his mind it's very sure slow but surely this is Mario Rebolo the technical assistant of the Uruguayan team uh, so yes that, that that is how the news has actually uh, flown in and Lucas Torreira Simeone's next goal for Atletico negotiations are well advanced but the agreement has not yet been sealed Cholo loves him for things like this and talking about more stuff this is Peter Kakup. He has been appointed as a referee for tonight's Carabao Cup tie at Leicester City. Yes, Peter Kakup will be the referee. But moving on, let's talk about it. Yes, this whole video will definitely be about Lucas Solera. But sure, slowly but surely, we will be shifting this video towards Samas Partey and Hossam Awar especially. And Lucas Solera already spoke with Diego Simeone. Arsenal and Atletico Madrid are now working to find an agreement. Arsenal wanted to be permanent. Atletico Madrid offered a loan plus an option to buy uh, Partey not included in the deal for now according to the staff of Di Marzio and Lucas Torreira already had an agreement on personal terms with Atletico Madrid the Spanish side need to sell Hector Herrera first and make sure that he is a their possible straightaway replacement for Hector Herrera that is Lucas Torreira wow did I rhyme uh, anyways well, moving on, according to Fabrizio Romano, it's 90% impossible that Arsenal will sign both Awar and Partey this summer. But according to Fabrizio Romano, it's only one out of both. But trust me, I think Fabrizio can go wrong sometimes as well. Because here's what he said. He said, obviously the club is working to sign Awar. The club that is working to sign Awar is Arsenal. Arsenal are convinced if they can sell some players, they have many to sell. That is Kolasinac, Socrates, Torreira. They can try again for Awar. And he said, in this moment, it's complicated because Lyon are asking for 60 million euros, 6-0. What we can say is that player would be ready to join the Premier League, would be ready to join Arsenal. So the player would like to come to the Premier League and join Arsenal. At the moment, there are no negotiations. The last bid from Arsenal was in July. They offered Guendouzi as part of the deal and didn't find an agreement. If they sell players, they will try again. I am convinced. So Fabrizio Romano is convinced that Arsenal will come back for Hossam Awa for sure. Yes, Fabrizio Romano confirms that. Yes, we're going to come back for it. And talking about Lucas Torreira again, he said Lucas Torreira has agreed personal terms. This is, this is coming from Fabrizio Romano. Has agreed personal terms with uh, Atletico Madrid. He is keen to join but agreement with Arsenal has not yet reached. Atleti need to sell Hector Herrera to sign Torreira. 
again I rhymed it again according to Matteo Moreto well according to his podcast Fabrizio Romano has opened up about Hossam Awar again he said there is no agreement between Awar and Juventus let's let's end the debate okay everyone is also saying that there were news that there was there's one still a, a, a club a, a Champions League club behind Hossam Awar let's put that to bed okay here's what Fabrizio Romano said there is no agreement between Awar and Juventus Juventus are not looking at Awar as a target this summer. It is so complicated for 60 million euros, 6-0. They also signed Morata. So it's so complicated to see Awar in Italy or at Juventus this summer. So Awar will only sign for Juventus only if they splash in the cash. They are not going to because they already already did to sign uh, Alvaro Morata. So here's a summary. Awar is ready to join Arsenal. Arsenal will make a new offer to Lyon, making sales after making sales. Atleti offered loan with option to buy for Torreira, but Arsenal want a sale, permanent sale. Talks are still ongoing. I'm sure they're going to get uh, a very good uh, say, agreement between them. I'm sure I'm sure the club is really smart in doing that, but I'm pretty much sure that they will do it. But Arsenal want both Awa and Partey if they make sales, according to Fabrizio Romano. And let's talk about a different stuff. Let's talk about uh, uh, something special because Socrates looks like he he actually had multiple offers, but the club has decided to let him leave for free. Yes, Socrates could leave for free. Well, there were chances when we when we came to know that uh, Socrates to Napoli is happening because that that can only happen when Koulibaly leaves because Socrates is what they are actually eyeing to line up as their defender. They, they've had a, a personal terms agreed, but it looks like Arsenal will not let him, uh, you know, uh, terminate his contract. Probably something similar to that. And uh, yeah, that could be. But Arsenal are desperate to get him off the wage bill because he earns a massive, massive amount of money for a defender. So yes, if they get him off the wage bill, that would make a lot of sense. Well, some Arsenal fans are really, really, you know, behind. Uh, you know, they, they asked me on, uh, on the live as well, Zaha to Arsenal, is it happening? Zaha to Arsenal. Well, in reality, yes, it is somewhat, but it is only in the dreams of Arsenal fans because a lot of Arsenal fans are really going nuts that... You know, Arsenal should get Wilfred Zaha uh, so that, you know, they could actually send Reese Nelson on loan. As I already mentioned in my live, I'll, I'm mentioning it again. Arsenal have uh, uh, transfer listed Reese Nelson for a loan deal. Yes, they're open for any club to come and get Reese Nelson on loan. And and we also heard uh, a rumor that Wilfred Zaha to Arsenal with a potential loan deal of Reese Nelson uh, towards the Crystal Palace so that they could, that could make this whole deal sweet. But that is not true. There is no substance to that at all. And uh, also you could see that a lot of Arsenal fans are really speculating about it. It's not just my life. They're doing it on Twitter. They're doing it on a lot of social media platforms as well. Because I, I remember Emery saying that uh, we signed Nicola Pepe. He's a good player, but we didn't know his character and he needs time, patience. I favored someone who knew the league and wouldn't need to adapt. Well, Wilfred Zaha won games on his own. Tottenham, Man City, are so you know you need to understand what what uh, you know Wilfred Zaha brings on the table. We know what he did against Manchester United, single-handedly destroying the careers of Victor Lindelof. Did Victor Lindelof actually have a career? Boom, burn again. <laughs> but moving on, we're talking about it. A spanner in the Mustafi works. There's a problem with this Mustafi going to Lazio. Yes, we came up with a with a rumor, the transfer rumor that was hitting us again and again that Lazio are looking at. They don't have a problem in actually paying off Scotter Mustafi's uh, uh, you know uh, uh, price that actually Arsenal are are uh, wanting to actually uh, sell off Scotter and Mustafi. But it looks like they have a big competition here because Southampton are preparing to sell Wesley Hoyt to Lazio. Yes, the security journalist Gianluca Di Marzio. Yes, Di Marzio, when he comes up with something, he is actually, I believe, uh, majority of what he says, not everything, but uh, Di Marzio came up with this and he's very strong about it that Southampton are preparing to sell Wesley Hoyt to Lazio. Yes, it looks like it as a deal is about to happen. And that what what, what does that mean? Scott and Mustafi to Lazio is off. That looks like it because that's a move that could have implications for Scott and Mustafi who has also been linked with a move to Lazio. So yes, it looks like it. Scott and Mustafi will have a difficulty in moving to Lazio if and if somehow Lazio do not go for Hoyt from Southampton. So yes, I think these were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came away. All the views and news and everything about Arsenal on this platform every single day twice. Also, we are doing live every day for this whole transfer window. Yes, the transfer window saga of us getting the highest of party and uh, the biggest highest party and hour that we can get both of them together. 
from this uh, from the respective clubs if we get that that will be the biggest highs that Arsenal could ever pick up and I'm pretty much sure that it could even be dragged to the deadline day I'm sure one of them can be done by the end of this week but the week is about to end very soon so let's see how things will turn out or probably towards the start of next week you never know the days are exciting the, the coming days are really really interesting so if you want to be a part of uh, my life be a part of my life subscribe with that bell icon I will see you in my next video and we are on a mission of reaching 13,000 subscribers as soon as possible help me reach there by subscribing hitting that bell icon and helping our channel to grow and cheers i will see you in my next video don't forget to join on the watch along arsenal versus leicester city the watch along is already scheduled on my channel tune in with the watch along 15 15 minutes prior to the kickoff time